in this video we will find the square of x minus y minus z so we can use algebraic identity which is a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca so we can see that we have x in place of a minus y in place of b and minus z in place of c so we can put these values in place of a b and c in this formula so first we will write x minus y minus z whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca now we can put x in place of a minus y in place of b and minus z in place of c then we have 2ab so we put x in place of a and minus y in place of b then we have 2bc so we can put minus y in place of b and z minus z in place of c then we have 2ca so we can put minus z in place of c and x in place of a now square of x is x square and square of minus y so square of minus y can be written as minus y multiplied by minus y and minus multiplied by minus is plus and y multiplied by y is y square so we have plus y square similarly square of minus z is plus z square then plus minus minus 2xy minus minus plus and plus plus is plus so we have 2yz then plus minus minus 2zx so x minus y minus z whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 2xy plus 2yz minus 2zx